What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I'm very, very excited to welcome you guys back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We are jumping into the Frozen Wilds DLC. Now, one thing I want to mention, guys, before we get started, and if you want to play this DLC yourself, guys, you make okay, you make sure you have a save before you finish the game. Because what I had was a little save right before I finished the finale, this last mission right down here. And therefore, I was actually able to fast travel up because this is the brand new area. All this up here is all brand new. So you can get an idea of how big this DLC is going to be. I have a feeling it's going to be quite big, uh, but not crazy big, obviously. So I'm really excited to get into this. Into this. It's going to take a bit of, you know, trial and error because it has been many months. I can't remember when I last played. March, I think, was the last time I played this game. So it's been a while and time certainly flies. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are ready to get into this more Horizon Zero Dawn. I still have the best armor. I'm just a stone throw from leveling up to 50. I did level up to 50 in my main game, but because of the save that I took, I took a, you know, I knocked down a bag. We'll get that level up no problem. We'll be max level by the time uh, we barely even touch this. So anyway, if you guys are ready to rock and roll with this, be sure to slap that like button. Helps out a lot. Is this the way to their territory? I'd say so. Let's do a quick save. All right, we gotta climb now, guys. Now, like I said, man, it's been a bit of a while <laughs> since I've last played this game. So hopefully we'll be able to slither back into the controls nice and simply, nice and streamlined. And kind of hope for the best. At least that's what I'm hoping for. At least we have the best armor in the game and all the goodies, the best weapons. That's something we have going for us, guys. First you don't look like you know this path, Hunter. I'm just taking all I can. I remember being quite good at the game, so. Seems you're a long way from anything. Where does this trail lead? For me, it leads south, away from the Banook, past the Grave Horde. Banukai, watch over me. This is the quickest way out of the cut, instead of going all the way through Osteram territory. And take it from me, you want a quick way out of the cut. I haven't even arrived yet. Why would I want to leave? Strange machine attacks? A curse on the mountain? It's enough to make me look forward to Meridian. You're going to Meridian? Yes. I was named an envoy to the Karja King's Court. No one else wanted to do it. It's not so bad. I just recount the songs from Ban Or, and the Karja draw their funny little glyphs. I tell them of the machine's growing anger, and the Karja King still offers aid, even though he knows the Banuk will not accept it. What kind of strange machines? And what kind of curse? Machines tougher and crazier than anything in the south, I heard. And smoke comes off the mountain like a funeral pyre all day and night. But like I said, I just pass through now. What sort of place is the cut? It's on the edge of everywhere. The edge of Bon Or, the edge of the mountains, the edge of other tribes' territories. It's suffered in the war with the Karja. But it suffered before that, too. Life there is a test to survive out on the edge. Not exactly homey. I can see why you'd want to move on. <laughs> Home is what you carry in a roll on your back. All right, well, is she going to give us a mission well, then? thanks for the warning. I'm curious about these machines, though. And the warning rolled off you. I understand you adventurers are all alike. Good luck. Lady, have you seen? Have you even seen my armor? Look at what I'm wearing. I'm glowing. What are you doing, Eloy? This path leads to the cut. Banuk have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Um, excuse me. You're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking, Banuk shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Lord. It's the future. Or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you do as you wish. Hmm. 
touchy. <laughs> I'll say. I forgot about Silence and how salty he came. You know, he was of a man. They recommend a level 30, and since I'm basically a 50, I was a 50 at the end of my main Let's Play, which was the max level, ladies and gentlemen. This one's a new predator. I see the heat coming off it. Look at this. Wait, what's... Oh, wait a minute. I gotta craft some bows. No, I don't have enough. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, precision arrow. And then the hunter bow. We don't need fire. We kind of need frost then, don't we? Which we don't really have. So we'll just try... Maybe we can just sneak past it. I can set up some shock, uh, some shop wi shock wires if I want. Me, I'm just slithering on by. <laughs> I mean, I'll have to get warmed up eventually, but. There you go, just keep climbing. Um, which way do we go? Go! What are you doing, Aloy? There you go. That's better. Perfect. Follow the blue lights. Now, this is quite the... Quite the, you know... The scaling we need to do. Climb. Thank you. All right, howdy doody, everybody. We're up top. Keep that for later. Any sort of medicinal... There's a lot of medicinal items here. Freeze prime root. That's new. I feel like they should have released this DLC a little bit... Earlier. Look at those northern lights, though. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. Hello. How's it going, everybody? Wait, you walked past? You wait. You survived? Well, of course, dude. It wasn't exactly difficult. I just walked right by it. <laughs> I'm still excited though. I like visiting a game I haven't played in a while that I really liked. I really like this game. It's one of my top 10 of the year, I think. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. <laughs> I'm Canadian, girl. You don't even know cold. <laughs> That's beautiful. I the place where I live, you can see the northern lights every winter. Not that you'll stay long. It, that, dude, that is stunning. Northern lights to sunrise, like come on. Smoke rising from the mountains. Beautiful. In the village too. Yeah. All right, well, welcome to the cut, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke from the mountains. In times like these, I must not forget the importance of ceremony. Sorry about that. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. I hope it's safe. Like, the thing is, I don't want to quick save over, like... You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like I want to manually do this. Oh, wait. I shouldn't have done that. That was not what I should have done. No. We'll do a new save. I mean, I don't really... I probably won't redo the game, but... They introduced the new game plus situation as well. Move your butt. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. 
Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye. A nasty business. All their best warriors. Lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! Blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice, uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and daemons up on Thunder's Drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth. Filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum. And they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look. I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Aurea's not around to explain. She took off. 
and no one knows why. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Uh, I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuke want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. Is Aratak a renowned warrior around here? He's a wary chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuke to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. What are these Werricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. Some Werricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, it's just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Werricks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Werrick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Uh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banu carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh... Hmm. How do I put it? Uh... Women? No, 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 no. I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuke camp. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rafts. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratak can tell me more about Araya or Thunder's Drum. Okay. Shot? Is, is this the, the shaman right here? Hold on, let's take a look at what we got going on. Yeah, just the one quest at the moment. Let's go have a word with this guy. I found his voice quite... I don't know. It's clear he doesn't speak often, like they I said. I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. 
Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak? Aurea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not in Outlanders. What a douche. This Damon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. There are other Werax in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own life, for all Banuku need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the balloon between frosts. Perhaps it will last, until the Karja seek war again. Did your Werek come from this place? No, we rallied most of our hunters from across Banyur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here, and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remained with me, those who survived. You're set on going back to the mountain? I put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Hmm. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. Okay, so we gotta find Naltuk, who is actually not that far away. These new cards offer peace to the Oh, wait a minute. There's a side mission over here. I forgot about the exclamations. And like the Bane game, we're going to be doing those as well. Get the most out of this DLC. Let's go see what this chap wants. Hello. You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes. A sudden deluge. Without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lalai. The drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep in. What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. So you want me to go grab this thing then? So deep in is a place, and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it. Or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede. What's the point of joy? Or remembering? So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like, but I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Yeah, but we can swim, lady, so... Anyway, let's take a look at the map. What's... What do we have visible at the moment? Because... Alright, so is this... That's Naltuk as well. So I'm thinking... I'm just going to go activate the various quests that we have. We don't necessarily have to do this next side quest right away, but we can at least get it started. We can probably keep to the shaman's path. This one really far, that far down there. Yeah, apparently. Just get this next mission as well, and then we'll head on out. And we'll just kind of judge which one's closest. So all these missions are going to be side Outland. missions then. Wait, wait a moment. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, 
I can see the blue light upon it. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. You know what, man? That sounds a lot like a... Okay, that's an Aaron, but that sounds a lot like... One of those cauldrons. You guys remember the cauldrons? Oh, look at this! So hold on a minute. Does that mean... Does this mean that the level cap's been increased? Well, damn. Okay. Um, makes me wonder if I should even get this. I don't know. I've yet to really complete anything at the moment, so let's take a look at what's going to be the closest. That's that's the waterlog mission. That's Natuk. That's that other. Oh, that's secret. Yeah. Well, so we'll do. We'll get to keep going with this main mission right now. Cause that's all I'm seeing. We can always come back. So we'll get my mounts. Oh, not yet. Look at that lake, though. Or that little pond. That's beautiful. Whoa, calm down, buddy. I'm here. Don't worry, guys. This one's mine. Here we go. He mustn't be too terribly far away. New campfire. Broken side away as apprentice went north of the river. That must be Oh no! <laughs> Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Burgrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Osteram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. What can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this daemon was... Frenzing machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. Are these towers, were they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't think dude has really a, you know, and he can't do much about it. So. All right. You want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started, with my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Araya. I won't. Out of confidence, but I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. All right. Destroy or override the tower. I'd rather override it if I can. So basically, overriding is gonna is gonna be full stealth. Nope, 
forget, you guys. Let's see if we can do this full stealth. Do it now. Come on, keep going. We got it. So now what? Ah, see they get stunned. Go now. Go, go, go. Shit, I took too long. I forgot about these. That's a silent strike. <laughs> this is cool. God, I forgot how awesome this game was. A little closer. Wait, what? He didn't see me, did he? Apparently he did. Whoa! There you go. Ain't nothing but a thing. That was pretty chill, actually, now that I think about it. My health is fine as well. That, like, overloaded me. Well, who's left? I think, I think it's one of the... Uh, I can't remember what it's called anymore. But I know who it is. It's over here. It's patrolling. There you go. Let's see if I can do an attack from above. Oh, shit. Ooh! Right in the butthole. Oh, crap. Wrong button. <laughs> I think I'm using the wrong kind. Disassemble the parts. There you go, it's down. There we go. Alright, buddy. You were quite negative about that whole ordeal. He's gonna be like, by the gods, you're good at that. What's up, dude? How you doing? While you were sitting up here, I was just wrecking noobs out there. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. But what she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains. The ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine. A great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Bergen told me you're Araya's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Araya's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. Hmm. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. 
Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the voice again. All right, is that it for the shaman's path? Right. Are we still going? I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find it. Interesting. Okay, well, we're heading over there. Honestly, I don't think it'll be that bad. Let's just call our homeboy. So I did look it up, guys, and uh, the level cap has actually been increased. See, we're at level 50 now. It didn't even really tell us. It's been increased to 60. So with that in mind, what I'm going to do... So it makes me wonder... Because what are these? Three. So one, one, two. So one, two, four, six, nine, twelve, eighteen more. So I'm wondering if I should just get these. I'm going to finish fighting back. And then we're going to go with the Traveler. Hopefully we'll be able to level up again. I mean, I guess we could really go to the... To the end of that, but... Excuse me, goats. New campfire. These mountains must be the ice rasps. Whoops. Keep going. I honestly don't think it's going to be that bad of a climb. I think we'll be able to handle it pretty well. off for a minute. This doesn't seem to be working. Hey, get off. Get off. Thank you. Sorry, I just can't really see where it wants me to go. I'm right here. Okay, that was the end of the path for him anyway. Because the thing is, this, this whole trial thing is very similar to what Aloy had to do early on. You guys remember that? I'll find a use for you. Now the campfire. Just out of curiosity, let's check the map again. So these are all the campfires along the path. Honestly, we could... I don't know. We'll, we'll get it all done. Probably spend a good chunk of time in this DLC. I'll do a Manny save. On a fresh slot, I'm thinking. I can't believe I've only done like one manual save. Prior to this DLC. I just let everything else do it. The shaman's path must be... This must be one of the markers Altuk told me about. What do you do with it? Activate the rit ritualistic marker. Okay. Oh, you just hit the button. <laughs> Looks like each marker points to another. Giving directions. Okay, that helps. So just gotta keep pulling these things. Guess I'm heading deeper into the cold, creepy ice cave. You've been counted way worse. To help guide the way with sound. If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Oh. Can we mark them though? Oh, I see. Yep. Focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. I honestly believe just simply walking forward will help. Because, I mean, there's a limited area of where you can go. But at least there's stuff. Speaking of which, I should check. Oops, sorry. I should see if uh, anything can be crafted. I need more of those. Uh, I need more wire. Yeah, I need blaze for that. 420 blades it. I 
I mean, it's quite pretty. That's the thing about this game, man. There's always... Wait, was, have I been here before? Here we go. I knew there was a little spot. Whoa. Another marker. Good. Ah, there it is. This is supposed to be for a trial, so it's not going to be all like just a simple walk around. You're good to go. Okay, that went bad. Oh, wait a minute, I see it. A chime. Not sure I saw this fork before. Now we gotta climb up. Not this way. But then, where? Nice, okay, so... Ew, gotcha. So we should be able to do this. Excellent. All right, here's another marker. Stalkers. Better be careful. So should I do this? That's the question. Okay. Here. Where are the stalkers? Aha. There's a goodie down there. If I'm careful, I should be able to completely avoid them. Just gotta be careful, they don't wanna be too loud. This isn't the way out. Some gear, though. See, I don't need any of that. I'm full up on everything. I just need, like, blaze and things of that nature. Oh, shit. Come on, homie. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Rolling. God damn, I feel trapped. Hold on. Roll it. We need some space. He's down. Damn, man. I feel like I got some... Oh, right! It's like impossible to die with this armor. I totally forgot. It just constantly recharges. So really, it's just like holding my hand. <laughs> Come on. Right now, this hunting armor isn't doing me any good. Oh, we got it. To be fair, that was kind of ghetto. Not exactly what I would have preferred, but we got the kill. So our health was down. Like, what is this? Oh, right. I forgot about that. Oh well, that was nothing. Bit of a warm up, if you will. Done with the cave. What's next on this path? So she made it past those guys.
To be fair, activating those things is kind of... I don't really think it makes sense. Like it needs to fill up with water before I can cross. So Or Whoa That works too. Heads up, I think I see some things down below. And how do I cross this one? Hmm. Down, then up. Okay, and how do I do that? Oh, wait a minute, there's something here. Down it is. A ladder we can take. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoops. There's the layout. Okay, hold on, let's just grab this stuff over here. What is this? I don't know what that is, but it's some goodies. I need to pull the rope to move this thing into position. Okay. Now the water's good. Sweet. Beautifully done. Okay, I need some more Don't go chasing waterfalls. So I feel like you gotta be fast. See, so yeah, like it fills up either side. You're ready. There we go, we got it. Just keep moving up. This is quite the path, though. No, come on, Aloy, you can climb that. There's another wind chime. Now, where is this girl? Like, what is that? So there must have been a marker I missed earlier. I mean, they seem pretty straightforward, don't they? Why is my shield down? Ah, got another one of these. I will do a Manny save. All right, we'll go Jacket's power. That thing's got a lot of armor. All right, we gotta get to that tower. Where is it anyway? I lost it, I don't know where the tower is anymore. There it is. So the question is, how do we get that thing away? Kill the frost claw. 
don't have to, but it might give us some good goodies. Does it even see me? Oh, get it! We got it, we overrid it! Wait, do we have a burning? We don't have, we do, we do have some, not much. Whoa, big hit there, roll. We're out of that, hold on, what, oh jeez. Hold on, can we make any, no we can't make any more. We're out of that too, are you serious? Why do we have no ammo? Roll! Oh my god, I'm stuck on a wall! Woo! Get rid of its armor. I wish I had more ammo though, guys. I'm out. Can I make more? Yeah, I got lots of that. Oh, jeez! Oh, I thought I rolled. I'm underneath it. I'm underneath it. And I'm getting cheesed out. Oh, come on, fam. Come at me, fam. Come get me. Oh, God. He's got that dig move. Hit the damn thing. How come he's not... Oh, God. There you go. I nailed him. He's got a lot of health, though. Look at that critical, though. Gotta get his chest plate. Keep rolling. God damn! Roll! Stay here. Shoot it like crazy. Stop on his back. Oh, he's down. <laughs> Oh baby! Scary new machine down. Now back to finding a ray up. What do we even have? How can we? I've got to climb. That's why we don't. Hold on, let's look at our inventory. Um. I forgot about all these treasure boxes. We can't even get them all because our just we're maxed out. But there's like blaze and whatnot, but we're full. So we need to drop. We gotta trade some goodies. See detonating blast trap. We got all this good stuff. Annoyingly. You think you'd be able to 
I don't know what I could do. I don't really need money, but I could sell them. I'll have to drop these things, guys. Because I need blaze. So let's take that bad boy. I need wire. I need... Hold on. I need... Which one's got the blaze in it? Need all that blaze. Now we should be able to make some fire arrows. Excellent. Now we're laughing. Okay, cool. Now let's continue. That was quite the battle. And she's going to be like, how did you do that? And I'll be like, because I'm a boss. Let's see what's up top. Let's keep following the blue lights. God, this girl is like high up. Thing is, I keep finding in the world goodies, and I haven't really had to use a health potion. That's the thing. This armor's too boss. Like, it's such good armor. It's, it was worth the grind to get it. That's the perks about doing everything. You know, you really... Things pay off. Can't go out a girl. Let's go. Oh, keep going this way. This mission is actually quite lengthy. This is looking Still promising. Is there anything else? Any more blue gleam? So I gotta go to a merchant and trade a bunch of my goodies. That's something I could definitely need to do. Said went past the shrine into the mountain. For God's sake! What? Those stairs. I'm stuck. We still gotta get in the mountain. An ancient door. Maybe a ray is inside. Ah, we have one of these. Wait, what is this? Yeah, that's how you do it. March tenth, two thousand forty-six. I just spent 16 hours in here, trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair... Oh boy. I should just go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I'll get this thing going. Hold on. Oh, it's an audio log. This is Director of Security Blevins resending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. Director of Security Blevins is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? We have to, it's it's a puzzle. These things turn, changing the flow of light. Wait a minute, can I not? Oh, I got you, my bad. So there's, okay, which one has the light source? So this one's got to turn. All right. Nice. The door's open. That was actually pretty easy. <laughs> oh, there's another audio log. 
Oh, it's sorry, it's a data point. <laughs> Stop sliding about. So there was a door somewhere. I didn't even go check it. That's what's funny about that. So look at me go. Being all intuitive. Follow the glow. I wasn't sure what that was for a second. Already getting back into the swing of things of this game, I'd say. Oh, where are you going, Aloy? Chick, like, you'd think she'd be able to at least hear us coming. Out again. Wow. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. This thing just doesn't end. I mean, it looks like we're getting near the top, though. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Kobe. So there was an option to drop to ledge. That's what I saw earlier. I thought I missed something, but now the campfire. Might as well save it. Manny style. Whoop. My bad. Because once we do this, like, we're pretty much in line to do the main game again if we wanted. I'm not much higher to climb. Maria must be close. She better be. <laughs> she has to be in here somewhere. Hello? She has no ways of looking at that stuff. Oh, I see. Wait, does that not count? Oh, there you go. I don't know why I kept doing that. Well, let me activate it. Oh, we got some stuff in here, too. An actual audio log. Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. Come on, a little fun is no... There's no harm in that. I ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak. Troller, say something. Whisper is all I ask. To guide me. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. You gotta give me a small fee, lady. Like, this ain't no river dance. You gotta hook a brother up.
It's cool that Aloy knows. Well, obviously we know why she knows so much. The goal is the same. Get the light back to the source. Interesting. This one's a little more complex. Some of them are pretty static, though. Oh, I get it. Okay, hold on. So we have to send it through here. There we go. Now we got something going. And then we just got to go, let's see, turn it all the way around. So like this. There we go. Completely all the way around like this. And then this one's got to be... Not quite. So like this. Keep spinning. There we go. And then this one's going to spin like this. Or do we need this one? No, we don't need this one. Okay, good. So we'll rotate it this way. And this should send it back. Got it. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ikorea? Orea, I need you. Time for action. Shift return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is terminated. You brought the spirit's voice back. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that I cannot do. About silence? I've told you all I can. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer, lost like me, 
A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here. In this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me. Never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something... evil. She named it the daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again. Until today. What kept you from the spirit? After it begged for help. I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him... I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels, and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunderstrom until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunderstrom. That was... the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit. Captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. 
The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the past and mountain, and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Ha! Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Well, you said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <sighs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sekuli. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. Is there a tall neck in the area? Yes, near the frost figures. But it's been frozen in ice for generations. What does that have to do with anything? It'll help, trust me. Maybe even more than I thought. <sighs> if you say so. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh. And one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Alright, well there's that. Let's take the Storm Slinger, whatever this might be. What the, where are you going? Nice! Well there we go, the Shaman's Path is finally done. And I have to say, that took a long time. <laughs> Some more blue, game, blue gleam and an extraordinary reward box oh it's not even that good well weapon satchel where is that hold on took the shaman look at that it's got no image we got to get rid of these let's just drop it it's no good And I will take, hold on, special items. We gotta get this bad boy. Wait, not special items, rather. This puppy. See if it's any good. It might not even be that good. <laughs> Whatever, we jacked it. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, obviously for the Werak, they were recommend a 40. I don't know, I could go do a couple of items, or a couple of, uh... We're gonna have to leave anyway. So I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and split this video here, ladies and gentlemen. Lots to go out and do. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, guys, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Those will be down below in the description. And I'll play at the end card of this video. If you're interested, you want to get yourself a shirt or a hoodie. There's a link to my Spreadshirt shop in the description as well. Thank you guys so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Mm -hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit Q8000. Wait a minute, hold that style, it's now Dan. Goddamn Billy Jack, we still riding, tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the Vader. Players, grab your respirators. Night invaders get lightsabered. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder. Got that glocking, got them woofers, just Press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.